In this video, I'm going to show you how to hand sew a book cover or a book jacket. First, you need a fabric that has a little bit of thickness. You can measure your size according to the notebook or the book you want to have it covered. For the front and back cover, you can decide how much flap you want to cover it. Make sure you leave the seam allowance around four sides. For the top and bottom, I fold it twice. The first time is a seam allowance, maybe half an inch or one centimeter. And the second time is depends on your book size. I want the final product to be a little bit bigger than the notebook to protect the book. So the first thing you saw the sides, you just fold it in and sew a line. I'm sewing by hand for this project. I find it easy to set up and uh, it's more relaxing to sew. For hand knitting, it's very important to pick a good quality needle and thread. I have a special needle with a little opening on the top so you can thread easily. It makes hand knitting much easier. And my thread is for hand knitting, it's slightly thicker than the regular thread. And don't forget to tie a knot at the end before you start. I start sewing the line with the basic method and you thread it from inside so it hides the end and if you want you can go through the loop so it doesn't come off easily. I'm just sewing a basic straight line with a needle going up and down and that's what it looks like. I will sew it this way along the four sides. I start with the top and bottom edges and then the left side and the right side. At the end, you can just tie a knot or two knots from the inside and cut off the thread. That's what the stitches look like from the outside and from the inside. And continue to finish four sides of the seam allowance. For the corners, you can cut out one layer so it's less bulky. Or you can just sew like before and uh, continue from the edge to the other end. You can see the stitches from both sides. It's not even but it's okay because it's hand knitting. After you sew in the four sides, you can put the notebook and see how big you want it for the top and bottom. I like the book cover to be a little bit bigger on the top and bottom so it can protect the book better. And then we just sew a line on the top and the bottom. I will start with the corner and sew it down and then horizontally across. For the horizontal line, I try to hide it from the outside jacket. So you can see it from inside, but only a tiny little bit from outside. To do that, you have to pick up a few thread or only a little bit of fabric below the stitch directly below, and then insert the needle next to the last stitch. Because we only pick up a tiny amount of fabric, it doesn't show down the other side, or it only shows like one dot on the other side. It might look a little bit tricky, but it's actually pretty easy. Especially after a few stitches, you get the reason of it.
and you can see the back side you barely see the thread or the stitches now that's what it looks like from inside and the outside you can see a few dots here and there but you barely see it here is the bottom part of the jacket I'm showing the different way of sewing from the corner going up and then go horizontal I'm trying to sew loops to connect the two layers or you can just sew a simple straight line down there's really no rules for hand sewing that's what it looks like you can see the little loops and then we continue to do the same stitches as the top edges we try to hide the thread from the front side so we just pick up a little bit of fabric directly below each stitch After finishing the top and bottom edges, we put the notebook back to try on and see how big the flap we will need for the front and back cover. And we will sew a line on the top and a line in the bottom. And we can pin it up first. I'm going to use the looping technique to sew close the two layers starting by inserting needle through the inside so you can hide the tail inside and we will start sewing loops like shape just like before I like to secure the beginning and also ending of the sewing with a few more stitches or a little bit denser stitches and we will do the same on the top side and the bottom side At the end, I will insert needle to the inside and tie a knot so you can hide the knot and the end of the tail to the inside. Now we try it on and pin up the other side of the flap and we will sew the same way. This is what it looks like. You see the little loops. After you're done, you can iron it to make it neat and flat. But this is basically what it looks like after you're done. A very basic, simple book jacket. It is very expensive to buy and it's not difficult to make by yourself. You just need a little scrap fabric and maybe two hours three hours of your time you can add the pockets or add in a closure so you can close the book with velcro or a button i hope you enjoy today's video and see you next time